What joy do you get from playing the organ here, then? I think it's a spiritual thing. When I'm playing religious music, I'm in a different world. I get a lot of pleasure from playing religious music, and I get a lot of pleasure from watching the congregation who are enjoying it, and it seems to lift them. They always know when I'm here. What's that? Because of the style that I play. <laughs> <laughs> because occasionally we do get a bit of pedal work that sounds a bit like the boogie in the hymns. Oh, really? But <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I did play for a wedding just before Christmas, and the couple who got married, I said to them, what would you like when you get to the register, to sign in the register? <laughs> and do you know what they said? Will you play Crocodile Rock? <laughs> You didn't? I did. What's it sound like on this organ? <laughs> oh, it was fantastic. Shall we have a quick burst? Come on, then. <laughs> no one's here. <laughs> You mentioned a gift. Do you think it's a, a gift from God? It is absolutely a gift from God. God provides the music and it just flows from my fingers. Tell us a bit about Mothering Sunday this year. It's uh, going to be quite tough for you, isn't it? It's going to be a difficult one. It's the first one without my mum, but I just feel that I know she's at peace now. I know the Lord's got her and I'm happy and at peace within myself. And, and with her passing away, you, you felt that God played a part in that as well? When I was on the Britain's Got Talent tour, my mum had watched everything that I did. She was so proud. I was just about to go on stage at Wembley Arena, and um, the Lord spoke to me that night, and it was 20 minutes to six, I rang home, and my son said, Mum, she's just gone. And he said, how did you know? I said, I just knew, Scott. And it was so moving. And I didn't shed a tear for a moment. I just reflected on her life and how much I loved her. And there was never a day went by when I didn't tell her I loved her. And I gave the performance of my life. And at the end of it, I'm afraid I did break down. But it was, it was a night that I'll never forget. Do you think about her when you're sitting here? I do, because that light shines through the window. And that light is the Lord telling me she's OK. It's amazingly bright, isn't it? It is. And it, it does just hit you right it here. It hits me right here. It's amazing. The Lord works in mysterious ways.
Father God, we thank you for all your good gifts to us. For music and memories, for love and for laughter. We thank you for the gift of motherhood and for those who, through their grace and love, have been mothers to us. Help us to always follow their example and to show your love to those in our care. Amen. Whether or not you are able to visit your mother church today, I hope you've enjoyed the songs of praise and like me, been inspired by some wonderful mums. Our final hymn comes from a congregation not too far from my own mother church on Anglesey in North Wales. Until next time, bye-bye. Next week I meet gospel music legend Mavis Staples. In a memorable interview she reflects on her career, her faith and her involvement in the civil rights movement. She performs some toe-tapping gospel greats and leads the congregation in some classic hymns. The Antiques Roadshow visits York tonight with rumours of a spy in the camp. All is explained at eight, but next on BBC One, drama with the Land Girls.